We are very excited to introduce a new tool to our line. We're going to call it the Digit Widget. This is our prototype. We have um, many on the way, so we wanted to make a tutorial to show you some of the ways to use it. Now, I'm still discovering new ways to use this, um, but what I have found so far is that it makes my digits <laughs> um, more consistent. So what I was particularly having trouble with was from, if I'm making a person, for example, from one hand to the other, having everything the same size. I tend to make, can't remember which one, but I tend to make one hand bigger than the other. Um, when you're doing something like a bird's foot, uh, they, they can have, you know, toes that are all the same size and how to do that um, easily. So it's, it's basically a little jig that gives you um, a way to make consistent lengths. And I'm going to show you can even use it. Um, originally, I designed it for fingers and toes thinking this way. But as I've been playing with it, um, I'm using it when I make an armature. Um, just like a basket bunny, for example, and I want to know that my arms are going to be the same length I can just line it up fold my wire over on each side You know find the step that works right for what I'm doing and fold the wire over that step um, Even when you're making people so just a real quick and easy way to Keep things consistent. Okay. I'm going to start with a more simple um use. I'm going to do the bird's foot. This is a little armature that I have figured out for little birds and um, we're going to show that soon in our bird tutorial. And th this armature has one little toe in the back already and then I'll make the other three toes. You will find a way um, I go around the loop once just to get it evened out. It helps using the digit widget if you're if you use the pliers to kind of flatten out the front of your loop so that the tool can sit right up against it. And then also it helps to make one loop, feed it through so it's all set to go, and then tighten it down on the tool once it's once you have it. That way, once that loops tight, it's real easy to do your other three or two in this case because I already have a back foot. I was going to say something and now I can't remember what it was. I felt like I was on one train of thought. And then once you wrap the three, then you just slide it off and give them a little twist so that they're each, you know, not going to slip around on your loop and give them a pinch. And then the rest of the wire can go up the leg. So that's a bird foot. And then this, uh, let's see, this bird, I think I used the next, the next larger step just depends on the size of bird that you're making. I'm going to show you an owl too in a minute, um, which is a little bit of a different technique. This is the uh, sort of similar to a mouse armature. This is about the smallest um, hand I would make, which is using the smallest step. Um, I think I used 26 gauge wire on this. I'm going to keep my hands consistent, but in hindsight, I would have rather used um, 32. So on the mouse hand, I'm just going to make all the fingers the same length. Let me flatten my hand out a little bit. Can you see how that just gets flat there if you pinch it on the flat part of the plier? So I'm going to do my first loop. And then tighten it down. And then that holds the the tool against the armature. And then Gorilla is like casting a big shadow. And then I can do three more. The tools that um, 
aren't this prototype, are going to be a little bit um, tapered on this edge. So this process of catching these um, loops on the tool is going to be even easier because it's going to make a clearer, um, a clearer fold for you. Oh, Marsha. <laughs> Lots of chatter going Lots on of back chatter. there. Do I need to tell her to pipe down? I think I think it'll be okay. No one minds hearing a little Marsha. No, but I do like telling people to pipe down when I can. <laughs> and then just separate out your fingers and give each one a twist. If you want to make them slightly different lengths, you can not twist some and twist others more. Okay, and then the arm goes up, the rest of the wire goes up the arm, and that's done. Okay, this is a little more, um, this is a person's hand, and it's just a little bit more involved, just by using a couple different steps, if you really want to be accurate about, you know, our thumb and our pinky are about the same length, um, and then they're short, you know, shorter than our other three fingers. Oh, I know what I was going to say. You will figure out which direction you want to hold things. Um, you know, if you're following the bird's eye view. So if I want my thumb and my, whoops, I don't want to use that one. If I want my thumb and my pinky to be the same length, I'm just going to make my fold over this second step. Not bothering holding the tool there right now because I'm I'm getting a kink in my wire. All right, and then I'm going to come up here to where the hand, the other fingers go at the top of the palm. Actually, I'm going to do one more loop, one more wrap here, and so I'm not stretching my thumb wire apart. Okay, now I'm where I want my four fingers. So I'm going to go ahead and make a loop. And then I can stick the tool in. I'm going to a longer step, the third step. And I'm going to do three this way. And then I'm going to do the pinky um, on the smaller step. It takes a little practice, you know, figuring out how you want to hold this and what's comfortable to you. What are you doing up there, Milo? I'm just checking out some jokes. <laughs> okay, so I have three long fingers. And I'm giving them a twist so they don't get, you know, moved around too much. And now I'm going to do the one shorter one. And I just need to hold the tool in place long enough to make the bend in the wire. Because it'll stay, it'll stay there once you take it away. All right, and then I want my wire to come back down the side of the hand. I'm gonna make a recommendation to not Google finger jokes. <laughs> oh boy, oh man, where are these, we don't wanna it's, know where no, these no, fingers no, are going. No, 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 don't, just don't. <laughs> Everyone's going to now, I warned you. <laughs> All right, so I've got a thumb, a pinky, and then to make the middle finger longer, I'm going to give it a tug, not twist it too much, and I'm going to twist the index finger and the ring finger a little bit more, and that make, keeps the middle finger longer. And I just, I'm excited because I have, there we go. <laughs> two hands that are the same, which I honestly have never been able to do before. Okay, so that's the human hand. We did the bird feet, we did the mouse foot. Oh, we're moving right along. So this is an owl that I made a while back, um, or started, I should say, who's never been finished. And the way that I've um, begun making the owl armatures is to have three wires um, twisted together, and one makes, each toe and then one makes two toes. So this is just real, you know, I'm not, all I'm doing 
is holding the tool up to the base of the foot so that when I bend it around, I know that the toes are the same length. It's like, it's like a ruler, <laughs> but with, instead of measuring, you're actually doing the physical, you know, the physical process and kind of takes a step out. So to cut, um, I feel a little fidgety today. Am I jumping around? I feel a little I, jumpy. I don't think so. The shakes. Okay. It's because yeah. you jumped in the ocean yesterday oh. in February. I did, but I was not as brave as, as my sister. You should have seen her. She just crossed her arms in front of her and fell back <laughs> into a big wave. It was glorious. Okay. So each toe I know is now the same length. And then if I want to do claws off of my toes, I'll give this another twist. Then I can use this one I did with pipe cleaner, um, but you could use water. Take your wire down, use it to hold my... Oh, sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. You're just no more shaky than I am, I bet. I like to get it wrapped around this knuckle. It's like that knuckle of the toe. And then I can look at the, the digit widget and decide how long I want my claws to be. Probably not quite that long. And then fold it over. It just establishes that kink in the wire. And then that'll be my talon. And then I'll do that for each. you know, for each toe. As I was playing with this, I realized it can also help um, as you're making an armature. Like let's say, for example, a little basket bunny, when I twist the wire for the head, I'm using this step. It looks shorter because I, I twisted it, but, um, so I know that that is a good length for this head. This is just, as you're working on something, especially if you're making more than one thing, it's a little shortcut. And then when I made the arms, I used actually the same one. And so I know that the length of my arms are the same on each side. I just took my wire, held it up to the end of the twist, and folded it over that to give me my little front paws. Um, if you're making a person, um, you know, it's long enough to do arms and legs for all kinds of things that you're working on, even as you build, you know, as you build the bird armature, knowing um, where you want to bend your, the bottom of your feet kind of thing. I think that's everything. Did I do everything? I think we're going to keep finding ways to use it as we move forward with it. I'm a little frightened by the arms and hands with no... I know, the legs and hands with no bodies. Yes. I know. Yay! <laughs> Good job! <laughs> Pat yourself on the back. No, yeah, you can. There you go. Mm -hmm.